when we come to the end of the year, we start to think about what the year has held for us. We start to think about New Year's resolutions and January 1st is always a great time for reset. The same way that we say we'll start our exercise program on Monday, gyms get inundated with brand new membership and influx of activity through January where people kick off the year and with, with hopes and dreams and visions and goals for what they want. However, this time of the year, right before we get to that point, we start to look back. We go, well, what have I actually done? What have I done with my time? What have I achieved? And we can really beat ourselves up. I know I do this for myself. I can look back and go, oh, I, I, I've only done so much. Or we're looking at how big the journey is, how big the mountain is, and and think I've got so far to go. And we can also find ourselves comparing ourselves to other people. We might have a, a, a little pulse of inspiration to start a new venture, to start off a new business, to do some training, to kick start something. We start to investigate it. We start to look at what other people are doing and we doubt ourselves. Wow, I could never do that. Wow, I don't have that much resource, knowledge, experience as they do. Wow, I'm not as smart and clever as they are. And we then beat ourselves down into submission and decide not to do anything. So here's the thing, this is what I've learned about how to keep going, how to stay motivated, and especially if you're in small business, we you've got to keep striving forward, falling forward, failing forward to survive, to keep going, to be sustainable. And when you are a small business, it can sometimes be a lot harder because it is so fickle and so volatile. So the key things are what I learned from Chris Gardner, who's an amazing man who the film the Pursuit of Happiness was based on. When he was really struggling and he was homeless and he was in, a, in the, one of the shelters provided by the church, the pastor said to him, when you're looking at that mountain, don't get overwhelmed about how much, how far you have to climb. Look at how far you've come already. Look at what you've achieved. So at this time of year, it's a great time to look back and focus on what your successes have been. What have you achieved throughout the year and what have been the lessons through that process? What have you learned? The other thing to think about is, and I call this uh, my my box of joy, my box of positivity and hope, is to focus in on your strengths and weaknesses. Now, if you've had a few blows, if you've had some knockbacks, if you've had some jobs that haven't gone well, if some clients that you haven't served, one, it's an opportunity to learn at what you can do better. Two, it's an opportunity to, for you to be able to focus on your strengths and weaknesses. It's sometimes good to actually say, this is not my genius area. This is not my genius zone. This is not what I'm good at. This is the stuff I love and I want to do more of that and I want to focus in on that. So as much as you can, whether you're in business for yourself or even if you're employed by somebody, focus in on the work that you absolutely love and how can you generate more of that in your environment and what can you do to deal with the stuff that is not so pleasurable and pleasing for you. It's a really good time to, to reevaluate, just do a checkup on your personal values. Now I'm not talking about honesty, integrity and those kind of values. I'm talking about the things that you place value on. At the end of the day, what is the most important thing for you and how do you prioritize that? And it can certainly be a juggling act when you're in small business because you can sometimes sacrifice yourself for your clients. In a job, you can sacrifice yourself for the pay, but focus on the things that bring you joy, the things that you love doing. And because you love them, you're good at, you're good at them. And because you're good at them, you love them. They all tie in together. These are the things that you place value on in your world, in your environment, in your day to day. What brings you joy? What brings you pleasure? Where do you feel fulfilled? Where do you feel you are driven and guided and gifted to do things? And it can be the stuff that you do in your working life. It can be the stuff you just do in your life in generally. Those are the things that, that you place value on. 
So reassess those before you start setting goals and intentions for the new year. Think about at the core of who you are, what's important. Focus on what you're good at and don't compare yourself to other people. They have their own genius zone, you have yours. There is something that is unique and gifted to you. Focus on your gifts and don't try and force yourself into a into something that you're not celebrate those and how can you build on those strengths what can you do this year to actually grow and build on what you've learned already where you've been powerful where you've been successful and scale that up so that you can be even more successful and have more joy in your year I'd love to hear what your goals are for the year and what you plan on doing to create success joy and happiness in your life this year